The internet and load shedding now both have become a way of life and I'm sure you can relate. You've charged your phone or tablet ahead of the scheduled load shedding with the plan of scrolling through your favorite social media platforms. Power goes out and with that your home Wi-Fi falls over. And then you realize that the cell phone towers are also offline. You effectively have zero means of communication to anyone outside of your home or office. You can't even make an emergency phone call. Now understanding that your home and office internet is made up of two parts. The ONT, which is the terminal between the incoming fiber line, and the router, which is the terminal between all your connected devices. Typically, both of these devices are powered by these transformer type plugs, which effectively take alternating current or AC from the mains and transforms the output to DC or direct current, which is the same output as we get from a battery. So if we're able to power these two devices with a battery, we could have the internet. How cool is that? Now this is the Lalela Wi-Fi UPS or uninterrupted power supply. This is a compact device that has a built-in lithium ion battery. It replaces these transformers to power your router and your ONT. Now while powered by the mains, the battery charges, just like your cell phone or tablet. And when power is lost, everything stays on as they're powered by the built-in battery. Now this unit is equipped with a 3.6 volt, 13,400 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, which means we can power one device such as a router for eight hours, or two devices like a router and ONT for four hours. Being lithium ion, it also charges fast. From empty to full took me just under four hours, which is enough for even stage six load shedding. Now inside the box, you'll find the Lalela Wi-Fi UPS, the instruction manual, all the power cables, a splitter cable, as well as a range of DC adapter plugs. Setup is easy. Switch off and remove the power supplies that power your router and ONT. Now check and note the output voltage on each power supply. Take your time here. You don't want to power a nine volt device with 12 volts, as the UPS has both nine and 12 volt outputs. Now these two are both 12 volts, so I'll need to use the 12 volt output with the provided splitter cable. Connect the required DC adapter plugs if necessary to the inputs on both the router and the ONT. Now if I switch on the Lalela Wi-Fi UPS by long pressing the power button, you can see both my router and ONT have power, even while the UPS is not even plugged in yet. This is because these are now running off the built-in lithium ion battery, as it would if there was a power failure. By plugging the Lela UPS into the main supply, the battery now charges. Now if I simulate a power loss by pulling out the mains, both the router and the ONT stay powered. There's also a 5 volt USB outlet on the back, so you're able to charge a mobile device. And the PoE port can be changed between both 15 and 24 volts, depending on your setup, so your PoE devices such as remote access points, VoIP phones will also continue to be powered. But be aware though, the more devices you run off this, the shorter the runtime will be. It purely depends on the load that your equipment is drawing. Now this unit also has built-in protection against overcharging, over-discharging, overloading and short-circuiting. But I must add that if the device runs flat after a prolonged outage, you need to manually switch the UPS on by long pressing that power button once the power has returned. So that's how easy it is to keep the internet connected during load shedding. And if you're needing to keep your laptop going during load shedding, be sure to check out the Lalela Portable Laptop Power Bank. This is designed for laptops and can of course charge mobile phones as well. Now these two devices make a great combination together. For a more in-depth look at the power bank, check the link in the description below. Lalela products are proudly stocked at Builders and are available both in-store or online at builders.ca.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.